Welcome back in. Well, if you guys watch the show every Sunday night, like you should, you know we like to bring special guests into the studio. And actually, we're making some history tonight. For the first time, we are welcoming in a basketball team on the set right here. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce you guys to the Pacific men's basketball team out of Stockton and representing the UOP Tigers. To my right, right here, is head coach Leonard Perry. And we also have guards Donovan Williams and Luke Adolovich. There you go. Thank you guys so much for being here on this wonderful evening. How are you guys feeling tonight? Feeling good. Appreciate you having us. It's yep. an honor. Thank you. Thanks Absolutely. for having us, Kevin. Thank Absolutely. Thank well, thank you guys for coming on down here, making the drive from Stockton. And uh, let's get straight to it. So, you know, first things first, you guys are off to a two and two start. You're coming off a double overtime uh, loss to Fullerton, but you guys really battled until the end in that game. One of the things that we can say about you guys so far this season, you have not struggled offensively at all. You guys are averaging 88 <laughs> points a game. Just I know it's just four games, yeah. but 88, which is up almost 20 from last year. Uh, both of you guys are averaging double digits in points. What's clicking so well for you guys offensively uh, so far in the season? I think uh, we know each other well. It's a fun group to be around. And I think how close we are off the court, it translates on the court. You know, we know where each other going to be, how we cut off of each other, how we move off each other. And chemistry's there, you know. Uh, we do need to tie it together a little bit on the other side. But I, I think that it's humming on offense, and that's something that you, you like early this season. Now, Luke, one of the things that you mentioned was building chemistry and having that chemistry. Now, this is your second year here. Donovan, this is your first year. Both of you guys are transfer uh, student athletes. So, um, you know, I just want to ask you, what is it that it was or is attractive about the men's basketball program and the culture that Coach Perry has built here that um, made it a no-brainer for you guys to, to come join the, the squad? Um, I think, well, Coach Perry, uh, he always says that your team is going to be like your head coach, and he's a competitor. And I think, uh, you know, we're a lot of hard-nosed guys, and that's, a, that's an environment I wanted to be around and I like I liked to be a part of. And I think he gives a lot of power to the players. I know when, so last year at the end of the season, we had Donovan coming on visits, other guys coming on visits. All of us players were heavily involved. So we knew the guys coming in before summer session hit. We knew the type of guys we were bringing in, and they were going to advance that culture just as much as we wanted to. So... It, it, it's like a family aspect, and, and we all are bought in. I mean, no, I, I've always been told when it's real, you can tell. You know, you can look a man in the eyes, and you can tell if it's real or not. And when I look Coach Perry in the eyes, when I took a visit down here, I could just tell. And um, I probably talked to 30 other schools over the process of being in the transfer portal, and um, none of them, you know, none of them made it, made the cut. I just knew Coach Perry was the honest one, and um, he, me and my family, you know, put our trust in him, and um, I. I enjoyed talking with all the guys before I came out here and um, communicating with them. And they were all, he like you said, they were all heavily involved with my recruitment. And, um, you know, I think I just thought it was the best place for me. And it turns out to be. As you look into this season um, and, you know, kind of trying to build on what you did last season, uh, sure. you know, what is the one of the main things that you're trying to accomplish and you want to get out of your guys this year? Well, you know, Kevin, I, I think the, the most important thing is um, we have to be vulnerable with each other. Um, these guys know if I make a mistake, I tell them I made a mistake. Um, that gives them the power if, to play freely, in my opinion. And if they make a mistake, they don't have to look over at me all the time. Um, they can continue to play through it. Um, we'll continue to grow together. We'll grow tighter. Um, so I think vulnerability um, has got a lot to do with our culture. And I open myself up to them. You know, we, we hear the term student athlete thrown yeah. around a lot yeah. on the high school level, especially on the college level. Yeah but you were able to successfully implement the student into your athletes. Why is it so important for that? Right? Well, uh, you know, Kevin, eventually the air is gonna go out of this ball. Um, the, uh, Donovan can run and jump and dunk with the best of them. Luke is, is can, he's shooting 71% from three, but there's gonna come a time where these guys are gonna put on weight. Um, they're gonna have families. They have to go to work every day. Um, the air is gonna go out of this ball and when that time comes, they need to be prepared. They need to be prepared to have a job. They need to be prepared to be able to keep it. They need to be prepared to know what a mortgage is. They need to be prepared um, to raise their families um, in the right way. And I know that, um, I've gone through it. I've been a student athlete um, about 50 pounds ago. So I'm, I'm a little bit familiar with how life goes and that's far more important. So when I recruited them, you know, I was able to tell the parents I could care less 
how many baskets he makes. Although I'm ultra competitive, um, I know at the end of this thing, when they're old and gray, um, they'll be able to pick up the phone and call and say, hey coach, I want you to meet my son. Um, hey coach, I want you to meet my wife. Um, those are the things that are most important. And none of those things are gonna be possible without a degree. You gotta have it in order to be successful. Wow. Very important. I mean, he just recruited me right now, and I'm, I'm not even playing. Uh, it, it's funny, Luke and Donovan, I, when he said, you know, eventually you guys will put on weight, I, I looked at you guys, you're like, nah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> we're we're going to stay fit for life. Uh, and it may. Now, just out of curiosity, do you guys have any, like, pregame rituals that you do before a game? Anything that you guys do to get uh, ready or, or whatnot? Nope. music. People have made fun of me. I'm a little bit of a superstitious guy. So, you know, I put the same shoe on first, the same sock on. You know, I do I do a whole little routine. I don't want to get all the way into it, but yeah. Definitely been made fun of, but I don't know. It's something I think I'm going to keep. Well, when you're shooting 70% from three point, you can put your shoe sock on, you can put it <laughs> on your head, you can do whatever the heck that you want when it comes to that. I guess so. <laughs> to all those who may be watching, whether in the Stockton area, Sacramento area, anywhere in our DMA, uh, what is it about playing in Spano Center and UOP that these fans will get a memorable experience and have a fun time? I mean, uh, it's going to be a fight every single night. Like Coach has said multiple times, we're going to compete and we're going to fight, and it's going to be a lot of energy in that gym every single night. I don't think you talked about all the, all the teams that are going to come through us. We're still on the other end of that schedule. We're still on the other end of that game, and I think – you know, fans, like you said, I'm pretty sure the last game was a real fun one. Uh, we came up short, but it was really fun. A lot of energy, high, en high energy environment, and I think that's how it's going to be every single night. Nice, Luke. Donovan, sell the people on why they need to get their tickets and come down to Spano Center. Hey, I know we lost one the other night, tough one, like Luke said, but um, I, don't, it's, I don't see us losing any more, home game, any more home games. One word to describe the UOP basketball men's uh, program. I'm going to start off, uh, we'll start with you, Luke, and we'll go around. All right, I'm, I'm going to steal Coach's Thunder here. Competitors, competitors. <laughs> uh, hard workers, hard workers, about the same thing, you know. All right. Yeah. Luke knows the deal. Compete, compete, compete. Um, compete, compete, compete. Competitive. All right, that's around 10 words, yeah. but compete is in it, all right? They are competitors. And if you guys want to come check out the competitors, of course, they have their full schedule on their website. They just had their first home game um, the other night, so you have a bunch of home games to see throughout the rest of the season. So be sure to come on and check out the competitors, also known as the UOP Tigers men's basketball team.